testimonies and things. Oh God, we thank you for just another hallelujah in our souls, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank God for the pastor, Lord God, thank God for the people, Lord Jesus. Thank you for their obedience, Lord Jesus. Lord, Lord, as you said, Lord Jesus, in your word, Lord Jesus. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Lord God, we want us to praise you, Lord God, without sins, Lord. Lord God, so we thank you for the praise right now, Lord. In the midst of the storm, Lord Jesus. Lord God, in the midst of the pain, Lord Jesus. Lord God, in the midst of trials and tribulations, Lord God. In the midst of rent being due, Lord God. In the midst of the lights being about to be turned off, Lord God. In the midst of a court date, Lord Jesus. Lord God, in the midst of trouble, Lord Jesus. Lord God, you're right there, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you because you are God, Lord Jesus. With them in his power, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, because you give the Holy Ghost, Lord God. As Acts 2 and 38 says, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, because it's power in your name, Lord Jesus. So, Lord God, let us be a son in your sight, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, we look upon and we pray upon all those that are sick and shunning, Lord Jesus. Right now, Lord Jesus. We ask them, Lord God, to touch them in the name of Jesus. Ask those that, them, Lord, to pray for those that are far away from us, Lord. Lord God, we pray for those, Lord God. I have the reprobated mind, Lord Jesus, Lord God. We pray for those, Lord Jesus, Lord God, that don't understand right now, Lord Jesus. But that understand will be open, Lord God. We thank you for, Lord God, the high school students, elementary school students, and middle school students, Lord God. And the college students, Lord God. We ask them to touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Cover them right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. Lord God, the devil, Lord Jesus, want to take them out of the church, Lord God. Lord, he want to take their minds and their hearts away, Lord Jesus. Lord God, will we pray for them right now, Lord Jesus. And we bind all forms of darkness right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we cast them out in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Because you said, these times shall follow them that believe you, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we believe you, Lord God. Lord, look upon the past, Lord God, everyone is family. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. The all the saints of God say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for just being there by the Spirit. In chapter of uh, 1 Corinthians, begin at verse 1, we just read and see what the word says. You know, you, this is something we've heard before, but the scripture says, mold. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you can't get enough of, of the word. You know? mm -hmm. It's always something in the word that we can get and be a benefit to us church. Alright, let's see what it says. Follow after charity. Well, that's the first thing he tells us to do. Follow after charity. Follow after it. Pursue it. Pursue love. Is that all right? Go ahead. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts. You know, we were talking about love here not long ago. And we were talking about how, how strong love is and what love will do. And, 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 and we see where sometimes 
we may say, well, we love, but then when you look at love in the way of God, godliness, in the way of the Father, then you see that there's a lot of love to come up to it. Amen. There's a lot of love to, to come up to Amen. Yeah, in every area of life. Pursue love and desire spiritual gifts. Go ahead. But rather that you may prophesy. But now he said, but rather that you may follow the charity, pursue spirit, desire spiritual gifts, pursue love and desire spiritual gifts, but especially, but, but, just cut it and say, but especially that you may prophesy. You know, because prophesying, you know, is more important being able to speak and to talk to individuals. Is that correct? Amen. All right, go ahead. But he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh not unto men, but unto God. Amen. You know, when speaking in an unknown tongue, you don't speak unto men, but you speak unto God. Is that right? God is the one that is able to, he knows, because he gives the utterance. Is that right? Amen. What does it say again? But he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh not unto men, but unto God. But he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, an unknown tongue is a tongue that you don't know. Is that right? Amen. Unknown. All right, let's see what it says. Speak it not unto men. Don't speak to men. But unto God. But unto God. For no man understandeth him. For no man understand. Albeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. Albeit in the spirit, well, it's a mystery that's being taught. But is, is that right? Yes. Though it, you know, it's mystery because you don't know what it is. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. That's why the Lord says that you pray with understanding. You have to pray where you know what you're praying. Because when you're speaking in tongues, you don't even know regardless of who you are, unless you're an interpreter. And then the church can be edified. You don't know what you're saying. You don't know. Now, if there's an interpreter that, and when an interpreter going to be able to understand. Is that right? He was saying, what? He said this, this, no. An interpreter understands. What the language is, because that's a, that's why I said earlier, pursue love and desire what spiritual Amen. gifts, Amen. spiritual gifts. Amen. God can give all of us spiritual gifts, but it's something you have to pursue first. Pursue love. Oh Amen. Jesus! Amen. You got to pursue love. You got to pursue charity in order to receive that gift that God will bestow upon us. Is that right? But we have something to follow out. Is that right? Now listen what he says. Go ahead. But he that prophesied speaketh not speaketh unto men to edification. But he that prophesied speaking where men can understand is for what? Edification. And you understand what I'm saying. Amen. Is that right? But if I'm Speaking in tongues, you don't understand. You you hear it, but you don't understand it unless God gives you the interpretation of it. Amen. And if God gives you the interpretation of it, then you speak. That's why sometimes people go wrong because they say people can't shouldn't receive the Holy Ghost or speak in tongues unless they there's an interpreter. You know, because a person can receive the Holy Ghost, what other evidence they gonna have? It's not saying that they see and they go back to Jerusalem, where there was all these nations of people, and they say, "How hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born?" They say that, but now on, during Cornelius' time, it wasn't that, was it? It wasn't that way. It was that we we the, the, we see them speaking tongues. As we did, we we see them receive the Holy Ghost as well as we. Amen. Then, like I say, anybody that receive the Holy Ghost, you will speak in tongue as the Spirit of God give utterance. Is that right? But then, when you begin to speak, you don't know what you're saying unless there is an interpreter there. Amen. 
unless you can enter. The one scripture said, pray that you may be able to enter. Is that right? Because other than that, all you, all anybody will be doing will be them and God. <laughs> but then God say, pray with understanding. If you speak in this tongue, you don't understand what you're saying. You don't understand. But that's why we have to pray with the understanding. You know, pray where you understand what you're saying. Amen. Is that right? Because hey, God can bless. You. Hey, I would love to see Pentecost in here right now. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna be a part of it too. Where everybody in here, where where the Spirit of God come in there and sit up on each of them. Amen. Right? Amen. Yeah, told them talk. Man, how do you talk about some, you talk about some power being generated. Yes. Mm, I would love that. Is that right? Then if it's, if it's possible that God will bless and somebody will be able to give now, that gift is somewhere. And actually, the gift is here. But what you got to do, you got to pursue love. You got to follow after charity. Pursue charity. Pursue love. And desire. Who can desire everybody? See, what happens is when you desire a spiritual gift, it puts you in another realm or element of life. Now you want something special from God. Hallelujah. You want something special. That's special. Now he's going to heal bless anybody in the Holy Ghost. He promised us that. Then he promised us that. Everybody in here can receive the Holy Ghost. And the evidence is speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God requires. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But then to be able to interpret tongues mm -hmm. is a special gift from God. It's a spiritual gift. It's a spiritual gift. Mm -hmm. You know, if I speak in tongues and I mean, do it, do it, and then can understand what's being said fluently and say, this is what God is saying through me. Amen. This is what's going on now. Is that right? Because the scripture say, behold, for, read that again. Listen to it again. Now let's listen to it again. Verse 1, real briefly. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts. Follow after, pursue after love and desire spiritual gifts. But rather that you may prophesy. But rather that you but rather mm -hmm. that you may but rather mm -hmm. that you may prophesy. Mm -hmm. But he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. But no man understandeth him, how be it in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. Mm -hmm. But he that prophesies speaketh unto men to edification. He, 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 he speaketh to us, he speaketh a mystery. He don't understand. But, he, but men don't understand, but he speaketh what? A mystery. Is that right? Those of you that have received the Holy Ghost, you know you, you spoke in tongues, you don't know what you don't know what you say. Amen. You know you're just letting God have his way in that. In that in that setting, but you, you speak. See, that's why most people say, you know, you know, you know, the, the, the church will not be edified, but you will. Yeah, you know, David speaking in tongues, he he be edified, but the church ain't be edified if they don't know what he's saying. Amen. Is that right? Be him because he communing with God, Amen. or you will be communing with God. But now for the for the whole church to be edified. You need an interpreter to say, what is he or she saying? What are they saying? Oh, this is what they're saying. Is that right? Mm -hmm. That's why he said, pray with an understanding. Understand that you're praying. Understand what you're saying. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And I know how God can work in, in people's lives. Is, is that right? But this is what he said. Go ahead. But he that prophesied, he that, but he that prophesied, speaketh unto men to edification, speaketh unto men for edification, to edification, to edification, and exhortation, and exhortation, and comfort, and comfort to men. See, Amen. they can be edified and they can be comforted. Amen. He that speaketh, he that prophesies, words that can be understood. Amen. For edification, for exhortation, for comfort. Amen. Is that right? Amen. We can be helped. Yes, sir. That's why I still talk about somebody coming here and all of us speaking in tongues. How, how can they be? And, and, and the preacher get up and he's speaking in tongues. Everybody's speaking in tongues. Testifying, testifying, speaking in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is ain't here. Well, somebody, somebody that's sitting around, they don't know what's going on. They may say, oh, they're all mad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's something wrong with those people. 
you, man. You know what I'm saying? Nothing they saying. <laughs> Is that right? But when it's done according to the will and the word of God, where people can be edified and be exalted, then that's why Paul said, I'd rather say, you know, a few words prophesy than uh, lots of words in an unknown tongue. Unless, unless there's an interpreter. Which is the greatest? The prophesying part is the greatest. Amen. Now, they're on equal they're on equal planes when there is really a true interpreter. That's just like, for instance, if there were some of you that understood five languages and you were in the justice system or the court system or whatever, and, and somebody come up there and you can understand what they're saying and you can interpret mm -hmm. what they're saying, you get some big bucks. Amen. You're valuable. You have that special ability, that special specialness about you, you know. Mm -hmm. And there are some people that can speak many languages fluently, mm -hmm. you know. And, and, and you know how good it is. You ever, you know, David and I have experienced, Fred and you have experienced. You know, you 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 get people on the bus that don't know how to speak English, don't know how to speak that, and you try to talk, you try to talk real soft and calm, say, "Where are you going?" <laughs> 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 where are you going? You try to where are you And he's still like, I know it. Now let somebody in there, and, and, you understand? And ask them where they're going. How is it going to act like this? You see what I'm saying? But other than that, you just lost. So it is when someone's speaking to them, where God, then when God is. It's communing and it's speaking. You don't know what they're saying unless there's an interpreter. Mm -hmm. nice. Now he's not saying not speaking to them. That that is the evidence of the Holy Ghost. Is it? From what we read in Scripture, that's evidence of the Holy Ghost. Is that all right? But he's showing us how we should be able to. Do according to the will of God. And what's most valuable when it comes to that. Now, if you got an interpreter, tongue is the tongue, that's valuable. If you don't have an interpreter, prophesying is, is probably more valuable. It's greater than that. All right, continue. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue. Edifieth himself. Edify who? Himself. Edify who? Himself. Go ahead. But he that prophesied edifieth the church. Go ahead. I would that you that you all speak with tongues. I would that all would speak in tongues. But rather that you prophesy. But rather that you prophesy. See what he's saying. He's not saying that you're not going to speak in tongues if you receive of his spirit. But he said, I would rather, you know, hey, you know, just like I just said, can you imagine Pentecost? Well, everybody, everybody here get filled with the Holy Ghost and tongues. Man, this place would be smooth. I'm talking about the power of God. You ain't going to sit down. No, sir. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Because I mean, it would be, because the scriptures say, you know, on the day of Pentecost, that's Jerusalem, there came into them uh, uh, a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the houses of the city, and there filled them cold and tongue, like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Huh? Came from heaven as a rushing night of his boom. Sat on each of them. That's why it was noise and roar. Huh? All the people there, what, 120 some people. You had, that was, if, you, if everybody ever seen the Holy Ghost, God brought his spirit up in here. You, you talking about some noise? Jesus. Jesus. I'm telling you, it'll be noise. Amen. Listen to me. It's like a new, it's a new birth. Yes. Don't the mother look for the baby to start what? Crying, yeah. some noise. Yes. Yeah. Okay, how long a woman be in labor? Any woman that know what I'm talking about, know what I'm talking about. You be in labor no matter how long you be in labor, but the minute you, that that baby comes forth, you get about the labor, you ready to hear, you ready to hear a sound. Amen. You ready to hear something. You ready to hear life. Thank you, Lord. Huh? So you you being a born again. New creature, is that right? 
That's like you, it, it's, it's crying out. It's, it's God, just a new creature being born. Yes, sir. Um, amen. Just like a little baby, you know, they, 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 they got something wrong, don't they? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's a mom we want to hear, don't you, mother? Amen. Y'all heard it, didn't you? Y'all heard that, amen? That was a good, strong amen. Because that was true. <laughs> we don't know about how they born. But they know. Is that right? If it's 1, 6, 7, 8, or 12, or 15, same thing. From 1 to 15, if you have one, you have some. The 15th, you still want to hear that same sound of life. Huh? That's what, when they were received the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost, that was, a, that was a new birth. That was a new birth. That's why it was noise abroad. Yeah, right. That's why it was such a sound. That's why it was such an uproar. That's why he thought, these men ain't drunk as you suppose. Yeah, they were acting up and they were moving around. They were doing things yeah. that, that seemed to be as if they were yeah. trapped. Yeah. But this is that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel. Yeah. That in the last day, said God, I will pour out my spirit. Yeah. My spirit. I will yeah. Yeah. Upon all of them. Did he say something? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hey, yeah. amen, yeah. amen. Yeah. Gonna pour out his Hallelujah. Huh? God wanna bless souls with the Holy Ghost now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. 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 You should desire, you should desire yeah. that for yeah. God have faith. That's right. he, he's, he's waiting for it. He yeah. wants you. He yeah. wants you to just believe that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. There's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah. There's something to be glad about. Yes. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Yeah. Jesus said, Behold, I stand at the door of the night. Yes, sir. If any man would open unto me, yes, sir. I will come in unto him. Yes, and shall with, with him and he with me. Thank yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. I'm yes. telling you, let me tell you something. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whenever you contact God and you and God is communing, oh, Hallelujah, Jesus. You got Thank something. You, Lord, Jesus. Amen. This is real now. Yes. Is that right? Yes, sir. This here is real. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. It's, it's the promise that he promised. Hallelujah. For the promise is unto you. What did he promise? The Holy Ghost told him. Go back to Jerusalem. Yes. And wait for the promise. Yes. Um, get on back Thank to Jerusalem. Yes, yes, sir. And you wait for the promise of the yes. Father, which says he you have heard of me. Thank you, Lord. And they Thank went on Lord. back to Jerusalem that Thank day. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Jesus. They went on back to Jerusalem. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, rejoice and glad. Thank you, Jesus. That was be glad about for thank the Lord. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Be glad. Be glad. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank Listen, Jesus. that's why the scripture says like Jesus. this. He that comes to God must believe that, that he is. is. Yes. When God yes. is working, you know it's God. Don't worry about nobody around you. That's right. Uh, that's time for you and God to come Jesus. You, know you ain't worried about nobody. You ain't got time to worry about David. ain't worried about nobody being rejoicing. That's right. Jesus. Huh? That's it's you and him. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, one who won't see me. It's your man who see you. <laughs> Doesn't matter. See, you ain't no the Lord. You want God's presence. You want to feel His Spirit. You want to feel His anointing. Yes, Lord Jesus. You want that in your life. You want to be filled with His Spirit. So, Saint, it's here. It's for you. Is that right? Holy Ghost is for you. Some people may not understand what He's talking about. The Holy Ghost. Well, you just keep coming. The Lord bless you. And, and, and to give you understanding. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of God that God puts within a man so that a man and boy, a woman, a girl can live and have power with God yes. in this present evil world. Yes. And it keeps you walking right. I don't care where you be. The Holy Ghost, Jesus said, I'll never leave you off the sea. Huh? He will always be with you. He can teach you how to, how to conduct yourself. Thank you, Lord. 
Hallelujah. Teach you how to keep your mouth shut. Yes. He can teach all these things. Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus. That's what the Holy Ghost do. Amen. Huh? Amen. Let's continue. Amen. I thank God. I don't know. I don't feel it pretty good. I don't feel it kind of bad. What I mean? He's stood up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost. Don't yeah. leave. Oh, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Jesus. Start talking about Jesus. Yes, sir. His stripes. God for the Spirit. Yes. So see, we want everybody to seek God for the Spirit. Amen. Young and old, when I ain't been baptized, I don't mean that still seek. When I'm young, I want to do this. No, seek ye first. Amen. And I tell every young person that. I understand it's a fight out there. And it's all kind of things, but seek righteousness. Seek goodness. Try to do good. You know how to do good. Amen. It ain't that you don't know how to do good. No matter how do I do good? You do good by doing good. Is that right? You, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why everybody know how to do good. Because you ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. We know how to do good. It's whether or not we want it. We do good. You know how to treat people right, you know? And I know sometimes old flesh get away with strive to do good because the scripture says like this: Whatsoever good thing any man do, when you do good. You'll get a blessing from the Lord. Yes, so he said, whatsoever good thing any man do, the same shall he receive of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Amen. Do good. Is that right? Amen. 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 It ain't good to cuss nobody out, don't cuss them out. Amen. It ain't good to pick no fight, don't fight. Amen. Yeah, ain't nothing good at you. You can get killed in that. Amen. Amen. I said, well, that's your enemy. No, God said, love your enemy. Remember? Amen. 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 Do good. Do good. Yeah, doing good. But they ain't doing me good. You do good. Because you know what the scripture say? The goodness of God, you know what it does? It leads you to repentance. The more good you do, the more good you want to do. And the more, see, the more good you do, the more good you want to do. Oh, you're a weirdo if you do good. No, you're not. You're a God. You're, you're a God. Fear and person. You're godly. No, no. Let's, let's not put the, you know, well, you don't nobody do good. Oh, yes, there are people that do good. Amen. Is that right? Amen. It, it, it's a blessing. Is that right? Amen. Yeah, it's good to do good. Is it? You think all the good things you can do. Is that right? So, we thank God. There's so many things. All right. Let's go, Rick. Please. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue, he edifies himself, yeah. but he that prophesied edifies the church. Yeah, they edify the church. I would that ye all spake with tongues, mm -hmm. but rather that ye prophesied. Yes. But greater is he that prophesied than he that speaketh with tongues. Yes. Except he interpret. Except he interpret. Go that ahead. the church may receive That edifying. the church may receive edifying. Go ahead. Now, brother. Now, brother. If I come unto you speaking with tongues. If I come unto you speaking with tongues. What shall I prophesy? What shall I prophesy? Except I shall speak. To you either by I'm gonna speak to you by revelation, or by knowledge, or by, knowledge, or by prophecy, or by prophecy, or by, doctrine, or by teaching or doctrine. Go ahead. And even things without life give in sound, whether pipe or harp, except they give a distinction in the sound. How shall it be known what is pipe or harp? See, listen to me say. But now, brother, verse six again. Now, brother. But now, brother. If I come unto you speaking with tongues. If tongue, I come to you speaking with tongues. What shall I profit you? What shall I, all right, he's like, all right, what shall I profit you? If I come to you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you? Ex Amen. Uh -huh. Except I shall speak to you either by revelation. Well, except I can speak to you by revelation. Or by knowledge. See, if something is being revealed. Mm -hmm. Or by knowledge. Or by prophesying. Yeah, or by prophesying. Or by doctrine. Or by doctrine. See, either one. What should I promise you? I got to come where what I say can be of edification. Amen. If I come speaking to you in tongues, you don't know nothing. If God were to sit <coughs> down and deal with me and, 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 I, and the spirit gets so high and I begin to speak in tongues, you just sit there. You just sit there and you rejoice because you know what's going on. Amen. But you won't understand nothing. Amen. So you can rejoice. And still, you don't understand that. Right? Right. You just know what's, what's taking place. Mm -hmm. 
That don't mean you, you don't you don't understand what's being said though. You ever, you ever see somebody just move the music, they don't really understand the word? They hear the music, they don't really, the word they don't understand. They just move because they hear the sound. They know. Is that right? But when you stop and listen to the lyrics and hear the words, that makes a difference, don't it? That change, that'll even change your outlook on things. When you hear and understand, it change your outlook on things. Is that right? Even in a song. You stop and listen to that song real good and clear. Is that right? But sometimes I do that. Sometimes the same you say is doing it. And I just sit and just, I try to pick up every word. I try to pick up every word. Is that right? And it does make a difference. But sometimes people just be saying, you know, a lot of times I just, we was in the, out there in the world going to these little parties and doing all that. You, you didn't understand none of the words we were saying. You just going by the beat. Just going by the beat. Huh? You like going back in the old days to talk about money. All you like was that baby. You just, you, that got you going. You don't understand what they were saying. You know they said something about money. They called it mean green. But you didn't understand all the lyrics in it. Because they were saying some things what it would make you do. Amen. You were missing that part. Mm -hmm. You were missing that part to make you still kill and all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. You were so much into the music part, you missed the lyrics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Amen. Huh? So sometimes things can be moving around like Holy Ghost using somebody. And they speaking in tongues, you have three or four people, you you that hallelujah, you just thank you, Jesus. Is that right? And you, the Lord may get get on you and you start speaking. Then they don't nobody know what nobody's saying. Amen. Unless there's sick ones over there that can interpret every one of them. Amen. And after after Jesus. everything done settled down, it's hallelujah. Not, it's thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Now that, now, when you hear, when you hear what was being yes. said, yes. Jesus, that'll make a whole new outlook Jesus. on things. Jesus. Saying the church don't have what this long, don't have what this. Lord it's called saying things. You better look out for the Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. That's right. 
this is what does save the world. Everybody get your house in order. Jesus. Stop fornicating. Stop committing adultery. Stop doing. I mean, you know, it can, it can be. It can be done. It can be done. Because remember, in a in a mystery, and he speaking mysteries. Didn't he say that? He speaking mysteries. In the spirit, mysteries are being spoken. Mm. But if ain't no interpreter, well, you say you rather have a couple of words that can be understood. Amen. <laughs> Is that right? Amen. 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 Now, when you get an interpreter, you know, and when you get an interpreter, it's amazing how God will do things. Say, now we're going to hear something. You may not hear nothing all the time. That's right. But you'll That's hear right. it. And when God wants to give it to you, God, I'm telling you. Thank you, Jesus. See, it just it's, see. What, listen to me. What God wants us to do, saints and friends, is to follow after charity. Amen. He done already said that. Amen. He done already said that. So until until we begin to follow after charity, like He says, because He already know. He know. He know. How do you expect to get into that? He done already told us what to do. Then. On the charity. Pursue on the charity. And then, when you pursue that, desire spiritual gift. Mm -hmm. Huh? That you may be able to help each other. Right. But rather that you prophesy. Mm -hmm. See? Is that right? Because mm -hmm. one speaking in tongues, one to prophesy, one get edified. See, one speaking in tongues, one prophesy, one uh, interpret. Then one, the one interpret, interpret it, there's prophecy that can, can go out. <laughs> is that all right? I tell you, it's some, it's some things in God saying to the friends. It's high. It's some heights in God. We just, we just got, to, we just got to pursue it. You don't know what you, you know, all of you are blessed with something. But over the enemy, you know the enemy, the enemy trying to make us stay the body. How the body against itself ain't gonna be able to stay. Satan cast out Satan, how can this king be? Thank you, Jesus. You start getting that real love and care for one another and praying for one another and praying that God will bless you. Is that right? Amen. And see, God, I believe God got a way of doing it for in. It's just like, listen, like those on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem, when they began to speak in tongues, they heard him. They said, How hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? They began to name him out. And, and they say, are not all these Galileans? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Are not all these Galileans? How is that we hear every man? And they say, parts of nice deeds, me not all these people. They was hearing something. Yeah. And the only thing they could say is the wonderful works of God. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Huh? We do hear, we hear in our tongue, in our language. Hallelujah. These all, it was amazing, wonderful about it. So ain't no such thing as God can. No, God can do that. The biggest city, but some somebody be able. To, ain't gonna be no. Ain't gonna be no wish you watch. They gonna understand. Loud and clear. They gonna understand. They gonna understand. They ain't gonna be like. Well, no, wait a minute. It's a remember what it is. It's a spiritual. It's a spiritual gift. Spiritual. It's a spiritual gift. Ain't gonna say everybody gonna have it. Everybody received the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. But he did tell us you can desire it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. You you may desire desire more more than somebody else. Well, you know when you desire something more than so somebody else, you pursue it more. Amen. Don't you? Amen. You pursue that more. You know what? And, and God, God, you know what? God, God, I believe that God will do it in a way when it hit you. God, he, you, they'll be talking, speaking, and you'll be understanding just like you hear me now. Amen. Hallelujah. You, you will be understanding it. You will be hearing it. You will be receiving it. Thank you, Jesus. By the Spirit of God. 
Ain't that great? Amen. Don't God have some good days for us? Awesome. Amen. Awesome. Hallelujah. Thank Glory you, Jesus. God. Make you feel good to think about what he'll give you. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Earnestly. Is that all right? Would you be prayerful? Fall out the chair. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, God can bless you today. Yes, sir. Huh? Amen. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. And, hey, tell you, well, who is going to be? It ain't got to be the preacher. Amen. 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 Because huh? I can sit back and somebody can interpret and interpret. I'm getting there to fry too. He ain't said no preacher. Well, you got to get it first. And he ain't say that. Don't put that on me. Don't respect the person. That's right. Amen. Is that right? But, but according to the scripture, this is something that I myself can fall out to in his eyes. Lord Jesus. Huh? Lord, thank you, Jesus. Lord. You know what he said? He ain't saying spiritual Jesus. gift. He yes. said spiritual gifts. Mm. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Spiritual Jesus. gifts. <laughs> so they're the gifts yes. of healing. Yeah. The gifts of God. Yeah. The gifts of interpretation. Yeah. The gifts. Yeah. The gifts of discernment. Now concerning spiritual gifts. Now concerning spiritual gifts. Now concerning spiritual gifts, now concerning spiritual gifts brother. I would not have you ignorant. I ain't gonna have you ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols. Uh-huh. Even as you were led. Yes. Wherefore I give you to understand. What? That no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus a curse. Uh-huh. And that no man can say that Jesus is Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Yes. Now there are diversities of gifts. Now there are diversities yes. of gifts. But the same Spirit. There is different types. Of gifts, diversities of gifts, Amen. but the same Amen. spirit. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. So, Amen. So, you know, okay. well, it's, a, it's a lot of out there. Amen. They out there now. Glory to God. Verse eight. What is said, Rick? For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. One is given the word. Huh? That, that's a special gift. Right For to one. What a one is given, is by, given the by the Spirit, the word of wisdom. The word of wisdom. To, and, to another, the word of knowledge the, by the same the, Spirit. The word that look, it's a difference though in there. You got wisdom and you got knowledge. Amen, sir. But it's by the same Spirit. It's, and it's a, it's a gift. Ooh. Some people say, "Oh, that preacher better than that." No, God I just done blessed him with a gift. Amen. 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 Don't stop talking. Let him be. Don't stop talking. I want to hear that. Just really understand that God has blessed someone with a gift. Yeah. They got it. Jesus. And you, you know, when somebody, it's, it's like, okay, just like those of us that understand sports, and we've, you know, been out of sports, or whatever the case is, well, even a woman sewing, a woman cooking, you know, one can have the gift of sewing, knowing how just to put things together. Mm -hmm. Somebody can have a gift of, of knowing how to cook good things. Ain't got this, just, you know, they just, they, they, they do it right and do it good all the time. Yeah. They do this thing. They got a gift. Amen. That's my brother-in-law. He got a gift. He's been had ever since he was a little boy. He can draw up stuff. Yeah. He can draw three, four dimensions of stuff. Make you think. Man, it's a wonder how you do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And then you got special gifts that's within the pie family that, that floats around. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Huh? Different ones. We was talking about me and Larry Reed was talking the other Sunday about when how he made them shifts. Mm -hmm. He made Thank he you, just Jesus. the pen just Thank you, Jesus. He, and, and I was telling Larry, Larry said Winnie was good in everything. Mm -hmm. And you say Winnie, when you say Winnie, you know, <laughs> Winnie was good. Mm -hmm. And they don't even get upset. He just good. That's all. What can I say? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm using that as an example, even in the church. Yes, that's right. Good analogy. God just bless them all. Thank you, Jesus. 
It, it just got it. What can you say? Just thank God for it. Let, see, that's why God said, Father, I have to challenge. Thank you, Jesus. Because you're going to be jealous. You're going to get envy. You're going to get all this kind of spirit that somebody can get because Jesus. they doing something better. Jesus. Hallelujah. You'll thank God for it. Amen. That's why he said that. Because if your father has a chariot, I ain't going to say with you because you got it. Thank God. I thank God, man. Thank the Lord. What can I do to get some of that? What do I need to do? Father's a little chariot. Okay. Don't push it. Hallelujah. Don't push it. Don't push it. That's why you can, now we can understand why he said, follow after charity. Follow after love. Pursue love. Because if Rick got to give, why should we all get mad? Huh? If Susan Henry got to give, why should the sister get mad? What you getting mad about? What you getting upset about? I want you to thank God for it. Did you use it as an example? When we sit around here, oh, you think you know so much. Come on, y'all. Don't count the way we go. He done already told us already. That's why he said that. You don't get upset with you. Thank God, because he gives gifts like that. He does things like that. Can you read? All right, in sports, all right? And whatever the case is, whatever it may be, baking or whatever. There's all, and I'll never forget, I heard Bishop say this, it's going to always be somebody better than you. Amen. Amen. You don't need to get jealous. Mm -hmm. You know, is that right? Sometimes when you have certain sports, different things you do, you like to, you like to challenge or uh, be with the pre people that's better than you. Because you can, you, can, you can get the wisdom and knowledge. Is that right? You like to be around somebody that, that's wise and smart about things. And don't you know what the scripture said? Iron do what? Sharp and iron. Huh? Let's continue. We got uh, 12th chapter, verse 7. Listen to it again. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with the Lord. Wait a minute. Did y'all just hear that? <laughs> that didn't go over here. <laughs> the manifestation of the Spirit. Is given is the manifestation of the spirit. These gifts, these things, is given why to every man to profit to every man to profit with all profit. It's all about a profit, yeah. spiritual profiting. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Or to one is given by the spirit the word of wisdom. Word of wisdom. To another the word of knowledge by the word same spirit. Word of knowledge spirit. by the same spirit. To another faith by the same spirit. See, and that's what that's going to show you. Sometimes people have more faith than others. Amen. They have a gift of this. Amen. 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 I was listening to somebody preach this, this past Sunday how what God had done for them. I just said, Thank the Lord. I was telling some brothers, some, some people got so much faith in it, in that if they want to have so much, so they get a teeth pulled without getting over again. Jesus. I mean, I Jesus. God bless you. You got that kind of faith. You, got your hand on it. you may have a gift of faith. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't even mm -hmm. mm -hmm. just say thank you, Jesus. And Lord, and, and the, the disciples said, Lord, increase my increase faith. Increase my faith. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, my faith. Yeah. That's all I can say. Yeah. I ain't going to get mad because you can do that. Mm -hmm. Is that right? But by the same spirit, yes. the gift of what? To another, faith by the same faith, spirit. He give, listen, faith by the same spirit. To another, faith by the same spirit. That's a beautiful gift. Faith by the same spirit. Go ahead. To another, the gift of healing. The by gift the same of spirit. healing by the same spirit. Sometimes people have a gift don't even know they got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, but you got to start working when you start working on it and then pursuing after love, then God lets you know it. Is that right? Amen. Going there by faith. Is that right? Faith and, and believe in God and heal somebody. God can heal them. God, God can raise the dead through you. Amen. Yes, Amen. 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 Is that all right? Amen. 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 
Sisters, sisters can have enough faith and they ain't even got to touch nobody. They just have enough faith. They ain't got to go. God ain't tell them to go touch or don't nobody. They can just pray. Amen. And God can do things. Amen. God can kill them sick. Amen. Gonna go. That's why he said pursue love. Amen. We got the same man. We go into God and we're going to pray. And God raise up the God. Don't you know, you know God can do that? Amen. Let me ask you. Let me look. Amen. Gifts. Know what he's saying, y'all? What is it? Amen. To another, the working of a mirror. Working of a mirror. Amen. Ain't that something? Amen. You hear them gifts, don't you? Yes. Same Amen. spirit. These, these, these gifts, I'm telling you, it's a bunch of them out there. Amen. Working of a mirror. To another. Ain't that man good in there? That muscle is a mirror. God brought a mirror through them. Amen. Jesus said it like this. Didn't he say so? Jesus said it like this. Jesus said, greater works you shall do because I'm going to my Father. <laughs> it's gifts in God. Praise. Amen. Praise. But see, he wants us to follow after charity. These are the kind of things we keep on our mind. Lord help you, Jesus. You know, and then God, you know what he'll do? He'll put you in a position to where in it'll be now. Go ahead, my brother. To another prophecy. Prophecy. To another discerning of spirit. Isn't that, ain't that good? Ain't that good? Amen. All of them good. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you gotta, I told you, 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 you got a gift where you can discern spirit. People talk to you, you can see right through them. <laughs> you know they lie. Amen. Manifestation of the spirit is given to every man. Yes. The, the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to what? To profit with all. To profit with. With all. Huh? With so everything. That's why he said pursue love. Don't you know God is blessed with that? But remember, he said pursue love. Because you ain't going to get to the point of you missed it. You missed it. You, you want to be called Mr. Deserve now. <laughs> Mr. D. Because that way, see, you ain't got to exalt yourself. Amen. <laughs> you just, people, be humble and follow love, and you'll be able to see through stuff. Amen. Amen. Ain't that some amazing? A discerning of spirit? Yes. God is allowing, you know what God is doing? He's allowing you to see what's in somebody else. Amen. That's a gift. Amen. Everybody can't do it. I know what you're thinking. I know what's on your mind, David. <laughs> uh-uh, not like that. <laughs> it's a way that God can show you the thing and show you people that you can see rap, you can see rap clean through. You understand? That's like Jesus. Jesus they know people's thoughts and understand what they got in their mind and what they what their intention. <laughs> you tell somebody, I say, you know what? You just lie because you did this, this, and this is your intention. How you do that? Amen. 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 You got a shot. Amen, you just be humble. Amen. They know it's true. Amen. Then you do it. You don't just do it one time. God bless. When well, you got the gift, you can do it. Amen. Amen. You ain't just do it one time to feel like, okay, the gift of deserving, one time you got one, one, one good showing. <laughs> you got the gift, you got it. What else he said? We are, I'm, I'm trying to, oh, I thank God. He didn't get it cracked up. <laughs> Go ahead. To another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongue. Diverse kinds of tongue. Amen. To another diverse kinds of tongue. Amen. Then what he said? To another the interpretation of tongues. Huh? It's a lot of gifts in it. Amen. So there's a bunch of them out there. What else he said? But all these worketh that one and, and the self same spirit divide to every man severally as he will. Read it again. 
But all these worketh that one. All these worketh that one and is the, and in the self same spirit, spirit dividing, dividing to every man, to every man servilely, servilely as he will. Is that all right? God is good. Thank you, Rich. Bless all of you and keep you and may God give you a safe trip back home. Let us all stand. 